Let's end this! <laughs> Day number one, filming our Street Fighter in real life. Let's get started. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna direct your attention to is up above, you see we have the camera mounted to a Canon Mark IV and we got a AC adapter to it so there's no battery so we don't have to worry about switching the battery or moving the camera whatsoever. And then from there we have a super long USB cable going all the way down to where I moved the computer up to the top level there. And then down here is our set, our fake brick wall. And we got blue light surrounding it all kind of to emulate nighttime, that feeling of nighttime like in a back alleyway, you know what I mean? They're gonna have this fight at night. Pretty awesome. If you're watching this while most likely you're on the toilet, don't flush just yet. We make Street Fighter because it's pop culture. A lot of us are big Street Fighter fans. We could do a fight scene, but let's connect it to something people absolutely love and nostalgia. Like that's what we're all about. Just connecting with our adolescents, younger selves. So we are doing Street Fighter. What you are looking at here is Dragon Frame. It's used for stop motion animation. Um, and it is amazing, I love it. So this is a live view right now of the ground right there. Also, it allows us to put our reference so I can go and just increase the opacity on the reference that we have of the actual game. Anyways, yeah, so it's awesome. We're waiting on costume, which I think has been the thing that slowed us down the most, but it's usually not the case. We're dealing with gravity in a different way that we've ever had to deal with it, sideways gravity. I think we're ready. We always try and take interesting concepts because they're new and especially new to us because there's been a lot of stop motion stuff out there, lots. And now we're doing our own version. Devin, now you're going to start doing your charge. There's another guy on set named Devin. Up so I hear Devin on set. He can get up. I am Bison. And Bison. Is it closer to your personality? Um, well, I've never been a fascist. You know, desperate trying to take over the world. But <laughs> Mr. Do you? <laughs> trying to make it, uh, I don't know, make it make a fall or a strike in like zero G. I guess it looks like a <laughs> <on> monitor. <laughs> I have a pillow. Life is great. I am a big fan of Street Fighter too. I have a long history with Street Fighter, uh, going back to when they were actually arcade. Now, I know a lot of you kids don't know what arcades are, but it was this place where we'd all gather to play video games, not at our house. When I was a kid, there was an arcade about three blocks from my house, and I would go there after school, and we would you know, compete against each other, all my friends and everybody who was there. But that wasn't enough eventually, so we'd actually be betting real money. I'd be 12 years old, walking out of there with like 40 bucks sometimes, so it's, uh, it's pretty good. My name is Allison Trench, and I did the costumes for uh, this Street Fighter video. I love doing costumes for Devin's Super Champ, and I love trying to bring his vision to light. And I especially love working with stunt actors and talking to them and knowing what they need with their costumes. Their costumes need to work in a different way so that they can they have range of motion and that they can do what they need to do. And so I try my best to accommodate everything for my great stunt actors. <laughs> they don't know it, but I'm directing the whole thing. I am playing chun -Li. <laughs> who I usually play when I play this game anyways. So. I really do, I only ever play Chun-Li, ask anyone. <laughs> yeah, you definitely lay down a lot more, but turns out sometimes you'd rather be standing and lay. <laughs> <laughs> Since it's stop motion and we're on, technically on our side, instead of being upright, there are positions where you'd have to like really freeze your body and see if, like limbs floating in the air. You're holding it for, you know, moments at a time, then you move it a little, hold it again. If they need to go check something, you can't move, so you just have to hold it while they go and check something, so. It's a lot of core work. We're adding magical powers to Bison. And freeze. We're crushing it. We're uh, three hours ahead of schedule, which normally never happens on our shoots. And we're having our actors lay down so they can take a little rest. Are you in any sort of pain? 
Um, yes. I mean, everything we do, we try and do it practical, let's be honest. We don't have VFX, like state-of-the-art VFX artists, like Corridor Digital, shout out to you guys. You guys were a big inspiration for this project. But we are trying to do everything completely practical just to keep that magic. Um, and we all want to feel authentic and something that people can really relate to, like, oh, I could do that at my house. So that was the other thought process with this, is we're just trying to make something special. Bison, when he punches, his fists get surrounded by flames. Green and like a brownish, instead of brownish, it shows like more like an amber color. Um, that's around his fists, so I'm just getting that. And there's nothing to it, but to do it. What effect is this gonna achieve, Zing? Nothing, absolutely nothing. It's just I just always wanted to do it. This is the fire around him, uh, or the flame thing that, put, that goes around Bison when he does his little been... Zane, do you, do you ask too much of your actors? Uh, I think I ask just the right amount. I hate to do this to you! Oh yay, it's my turn! You guys ever read The Hungry Hungry Caterpillar? Yeah. Yes. yes. This is literally the moral of the story. I just like ate my entire weight in crap. And joke's on you. It makes you a butterfly. <laughs> You have, I think, a little bit more control when you're doing stop motion. Like, we could take breaks whenever we want. You didn't have to do takes over again because you could just see it wasn't working or, you know, just really quick backpedal and look at the footage, look at the shots. So that, that was, like, the nice part about using stop motion. So as far as, like, challenges, yeah, I, I think the biggest one was just, yeah, just getting up every day, you know? So, like, we're back to that. I'm just joking about that. I actually greet every day with an enthusiastic welcome. <laughs> <laughs> We're creating motion with cotton balls ripped from a teddy bear's heart. First part was just trying to hold position sometimes, you know, in, in case we needed to like move a light or like set something or like watch the animated playback what we were trying to capture. And having to hold a specific position kind of weird on the floor. That was a little bit hard, but the rest of it was, it was great. <laughs> Day two, filming with our Street Fighter project and it's gonna get fun, it's gonna get a little crazy. We're doing now the 3D stuff, so we'll go from 2D to full 3D. So we got a lot of aperture lights. We got an airy light over here because I ran out of aperture lights. The thing is, when you do stop motion, you're spending so long for 20 seconds, you want to make sure the lighting is as good as possible. So right now, the lighting is not great. I walk over here, it gets better. So now we're matching three-dimensional space with two-dimensional space. So we're having to think a little different too. You know, it's not a challenge when you're doing stuff with your friends. <laughs> I can't wait to grow up and have 100 kids so I ever have 100 friends. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be married and have a hundred kids so I can have a hundred friends and no one can say no to being my friend. Looks like a background for like a stand-up comedy routine. What's it all about? <laughs> oh, it's like also like a Newsies background, you know? Santa Fe, are you there? Do you swear you won't forget me? Would you, would you let me come and stay? Wait, what? Yeah. Did, you ask, did you ask me something? We are doing anime style stuff, and we're doing everything practical. It's pretty much 99.9% .9 of the whole film, all practical. So if you look right here, you'll see anime animations that we found on YouTube, royalty free, we hope. Welcome to my subconscious. A place where everything is safe and nothing is real. You've probably seen Grogu in The Mandalorian, big fan. And they use, a lot of times, they actually use LCD or LED screens. And that's what we're using now. We got a 4K display and we're projecting it on the TV to create the illusion. So we're not using green screen, we're doing everything like in camera. A memorable moment is the ribbon where it's swimming and swirling around me. It was really difficult to do because, you know, we have, a, we have Zane and Devin alternating being on the top of the ladder and 
But there were moments where it would like wind around my neck or catch in my eye and stuff. It didn't hurt, but. Let's end this. It was, it was fun. I always get super excited when my phone goes off and like down and it's like someone from the Super Tramp team because it's just like, we love working with them. Like it's, it's like, always something weird. It's always, it's always the most fun. It's always the most adventurous. It's always something that you would never get to do anywhere else, you know? So it's just, it's so much fun. It's imaginative, it's creative. The environment is always super rad. Who's a better street fighter fighter, you or Wex? And Wex isn't here right now to defend herself. Oh, well, I mean, come on. <laughs> I was like, is, literally is, about to change. Was that a real question? Answer the question. <laughs> Answer the question, Devin. I guess we'll have to settle this uh, at the arcade. I think Chun Li, the character, beats oh, okay, M. Bison okay, 10 out of 10 times. Okay. Me versus Devin. <laughs> <laughs> I think Devin could be me. It really is an obvious answer. I still play, you know, what about online real life? competitively. What about real, real life, life huh? she could take me any day. So no, that's, that's not true. true. <laughs> I want to thank Devin for, you know, and Zane for calling me up with this. Whenever these guys are involved, it's always going to be fun. I mean, it's it's always going to be something that I'm down for. He makes the best fun. That's that's what it comes down to, and I always want to be a part of that if I can. So. Thank you for uh, having me out. This was a good time. It was a great shoot, and we had fun. And I'm always happy to be on set with Devin Soup Chat. So, so there you have my friends. That is our Street Fighter in real life featuring Wex and Devin. I'll have links down below in the video description to check out their social medias. And guess what? We are finally on Patreon, so I'll have a link down below in the video description and definitely watch the behind the scenes, but because of you guys and your support, we're able to make these projects happen, so definitely check out Patreon down below. Thanks so much for watching, over and out.